If you want to play, make it a better place. It'll take creation, imagination. Try to draw outside the line. Let us see inside your mind. You'll find inspiration. All I'm saying. Hi, this is Mary for Mary's Stamping Happenings. And today is Tips and Techniques Tuesday. And I'm going to be showing you how to use my new favorite framelit, the Curvy Keepsake Framelit. We're going to be making a simple box, not one of the fancy boxes like the Santa or anything like that. I'm just going to want to show you how to um, do this simple box. So we're going to need the Big Shot, we're going to need the magnetic platform, we're going to be using the Curvy Keepsake die, framelit die, I am going to be using All Is Calm specialty paper, Designer Series specialty paper. I really like this one. This is silver. I'm also going to be using Festivals of Tree, A Merry Little Wish. Um, I'm going to be using um, some punches, the scalloped oval and the large oval punch. I'm going to be using Scrap of the Silver Foil the Silver Encore ink, and oh, I had it here. Where is it? I'm going to be needing some silver, um, eighth, eight inch, eighth of an inch, uh, the silver thread, or the silver ribbon. Okay, I got the silver thread. We're also going to be needing the um, sticky strip. So first of all, what you want to do is you want to take your designer series paper, your cardstock, whatever you're going to cut out. And I found best um, either the five and a half, and you'll have to jiggle it, but a six inch piece of uh, cardstock or designer series paper works perfectly. You can get it right in there like that. Um, the five and a half, you may just have to turn like that just a little, but it's right in there right now. So you're going to run this through the cart, the big shot on the magnetic platform. And then you're going to just turn it over and you're going to run two. You need two of these. Okay, so you're going to have to cut two of them. So I've already cut these two. Now what you're going to do, you notice that there are two different um, ends. We have the end that has the little strip here. And then we have this end that's more like a little handle. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to lay them this way with the side you want outside and since this is the uh, specialty paper it only has one side so I want that out there and then right across from that handle and right across from the dot the uh, slit you're going to lay those so this is how it's going to go so let's just remove one and we're going to put down some sticky strip Just like that. And I use three pieces of sticky strip. Just to get it to hold. Okay. And then you're going to take the red off the sticky strip. Okay, and I like to fold this one just so I know where it is, where the lines are, because then I'm going to put this one, and remember, the like ones go across from each other, and then you just want to line that up in that little square, both of those squares, okay? And then what you want to do is you just want to roll this just a little, just a little. And then, if you're going to add something, you want to add it now. I'm going to add some M&M's, a little bag of M&M's. This is a beautiful box. If you would like to add um, a ring, some jewelry, that would be really nice. And then you're going to take the two um, edges that are the hangers, bend back the, the fold just a little, 
on both of those or just like that. And then you're going to take one with the slit and the slit goes over those handles just like that. And then you put the other slit over those handles and there you got a really great box. But I just want to finish this off just a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take from the Festival of Trees and some Whisper White and then my Silver Encore and I'm just going to stamp a Merry Little Wish. I'm going to, and don't touch it because it will still be wet. I'm just going to take that and then I'm going to take my scrap silver and I'm going to cut out a scalloped oval and some, and again don't touch it unless, let's just dry it off just a bit, sorry for the noise, because I don't want to smear it. And I'm going to take a couple a couple of stampin' dimensionals. Merry little wish. I'm going to take I'm going to run and I want it just like this so I'm going to run this through it just like this And I'm just going to tie a nice little bow. My rabbit ear bow. Just tie a little bow. I like that. cut off the ends. There you have a Merry Little Wish box. Isn't that a beautiful box? So get your cur curvy framelits, uh, order it for me, and I will send you two little kits that just has all the stuff to put together, some of the fancy fun little boxes I have, and you can choose which of the 20, I think I have 27 or 28 um, uh, little boxes that you can choose from. So just get this from me. You can order it at http uh, colon backslash backslash Mary Troutner, all one words, dot stampin' up, one word, dot net. Uh, it'll be right there for you. So thanks for visiting and happy stampin'. Get about a plane